Hi, welcome back to MrStewart'sLessons.com and our next Greenfoot lesson. Right now we have a ship. If you've been following up to my previous lesson, we have a ship that can accelerate and that can bounce around in different directions. What I want to do now, though, is I want to uh, give it, give you another way we can do it, which is instead of bouncing, we can have it wrap. And wrap means that in, when it gets up to the top, it's going to go to the bottom or vice versa. It'll wrap around like a circular world. So I'm going to create a new method. <clears throat> and this method is going to be called wrap at edge. This method here is going to uh, and so it's going to do replace the bounce at edge, but we're not going to get rid of the bounce at edge. We can leave it there as long as it's we don't call it. It doesn't matter if it's there or not. Now, what's going to what we need to do is first we need to know if we're at the edge. Fortunately, we already have a hit the edge feature, so we don't need to check anything there. That information's already there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy the hit the edge method, the string edge equals hit the edge and I'm going to paste it in there string edge equals hit hit the edge and so that's going to make it so that the uh, it will uh, know if we're at the edge of the screen and this is and just to remind you this is returning a string so the edge is a string that's going to say if we're at the top bottom left or right side of the screen we also need to have some information. We need to know where the bottom of the screen is, where the right side of the screen is, where the ship is. And luckily, we already found all that information up here in the hit the edge uh, method here. So um, what I can do is I can just copy all this information. So before I do that, you should pause it, go, and you should copy the string edge equals hit the edge into the wrap at edge thing so that this is the same. Okay, and so now I'm going to go up to the hit the edge method. And I'm going to highlight all these lines. The int x equals get x and the get y. These are going to tell me where the ship is. This is going to tell me how big my world. These three lines here are going to tell me how big my world is and where the bottom side and the right side of the world is. So I'm going to copy all these things. And I'm going to come down here. And uh, I'm going to paste them in. If you paste them in and they come out out of alignment, or they're all, uh, you can just go to edit and you can go to auto layout and it will uh, fix the layout so that everything's nice and pretty. So you should go up here once again. You should copy all these lines up here and you should paste them down here. <clears throat> okay, so if you've done that, now what we need to do is we need to, if we hit the top, we want to go to the bottom, and this is going to be really easy now that we have this all this information all set up. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if I hit the bottom. So I'm going to put if edge equals equals bottom. I'm going to do my open curly brackets, and um, and then I'll hit my enter key and do my closed curly brackets. So put that part in if edge equals equals bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to <coughs> uh, going to set it up so uh, set the new location so that it moves up to the top. But the x is going to stay the same. So I'm going to change the y but not the x. The x and y we already know here. So I'm going to use a method we've used before called set location. This is asking for an x and a y coordinate. The x coordinate will stay the same. The y coordinate is going to be up at the top, which is 0. So I will save it here. And now I want to check and see if it works. So first go to, you put that in, put in the set location x comma 0. And I'm going to move up all the way up here we need to call this method. Right now, so, so the new method we've create, we're creating is called wrap at edge. Right now, we're calling bounce at edge up here when we get to the edge. We want to get rid of that. But 
What I'm going to do is instead of deleting it, I'm going to do something called commenting it out. That's going to create, put it in, change it so it's just a comment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the slash key two times. That's going to make it turn gray. That means it's still there, so I could put it back if I wanted, but it's just not going to run. The code's just going to skip right over it. That's another use for comment. I'm going to hit the enter key, <clears throat> and I'm going to put in the new method I've created, which is the wrap at edge. right here and I'll put in a semicolon so right now it only works if I go to the bottom right so let's try it out let's go to the bottom and see if we wrap around I'm going to compile this I'll put in my pie ship near the bottom I'll run it and I'll hit the enter you see now I go around and I keep going as I continue to run now we just need to make it do the same thing for all the others. So <clears throat> I'm going to put in some else if statements. And uh, so I'm going to say else if. You could probably figure this out all by yourself. You probably don't even need me to do it, but I'll show you anyway. So if the edge is equal to the top, then we want to set the location to the x is going to stay the same and the y is going to become the top of this the bottom of the screen which is uh, bottom side this variable right here so then I'm going to do another close curly bracket I'll do I need two more else if statements this is going to be if we're at the left or the right side So if we're at the left side, that means we want to move it to the right. So in this case, we're changing the x coordinate, not the y coordinate. So I'm going to put the x, I'm going to put right side, and the y coordinate is going to be whatever the y coordinate was before when we got the, did the get y up here. Then I'll hit the enter key. One more else if statement. Which is if the edge is equal to the right, we want to go to the set the x over to the left. So if I was on the right. I want to be all the way set my x to the left, which is zero, and the y is going to be the same as what the y was before. I'll put in a semicolon and I'll close my curly brackets. Make sure I have all my semicolons and curly brackets that I have in here. I forgot a semicolon there, so I'm going to put that in. You should always check for your curly brackets, make sure your equal signs are double equals. And now I'm going to compile this. Good so far. I'm going to close it up. And I'm going to put my ship in. I'm going to run it. And you can see my ship wraps around the universe. No matter which side I go, I'm going to come out on the other side. What's nice here, suppose I change my mind and I decide I want my pie ship to bounce instead of wrapping. I'm going to come up here. What do I do? Well, if I want it to go back to bouncing, I'm going to comment out rapid edge and I'm going to uncomment bounce at edge. I'll compile it. We know the bounce at edge already worked because we tried it before. I'm going to put my pie ship back in there and now it bounces. So what I have here 
can very easily change this. I can decide whether I want to wrap or I want to bounce just by commenting out whichever one I want because I have both methods. By having both methods, I can easily do whichever of the two I want. Don't do both at the same time though. That's definitely not going to work. So next, what we have to do is finally put in some fruit for our pie ship to shoot. And that will be on our next lesson. I will see you then.